And um, if you want to record that percussion pattern, just hit the record enable button there, back up, and hit record. And this is what happens. Okay, there's the SR16, and this is what happens. What the time you have the dread? Yeah, and there's your congas recorded. If I go back now to my drum map, and I mute these three congas, mute, oops, sorry, mute, 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 they'll play from this audio part. What the time you have the dread? Well, I will have to take the monitor off. What the time you have the dread? What the time you have the dread? Oh, yeah, man. What the time you have the dread? Right, now, the other thing I can also do, I mean, that is fantastic. Can you see that? I mean, that means, think about it. Let me just put this camera back. Get in there. Right. That means... I'll go back to this, uh, this uh, microphone. That means, of course, think about it. What is the cheapest thing on the market nowadays? Software is really expensive now for, like, you know, I mean, there's some great free and cheap software around, but, you know... We're all enticed by the magazines that we should be buying softwares and they cost, you know, 100 quid, 152, 300 pounds. But the hardware market at the moment, it's a buyer's market. There is all this equipment out there like drum machines, old Akai samplers and stuff. Nobody nobody wants it. It's going for a song. You can pick up an Akai sample. I know a guy who's selling 10, uh, sorry, 8 Akai S950s for 100 quid each. So this gives you the opportunity to get your 12-bit sampler wired up and use those Akai samples, 12-bit, inside your patterns, being triggered from your drum map here, and uh, just assign the note numbers to your MIDI port, and wire it up like I wired it there, with the output from your sampler coming into your sound card, and uh, you can mix your external samples and drum sounds from samplers and drum machines uh, in, with your, in with your main mix uh, in real time. You know, I recorded it here to show that when you come ready to mix down, you can record those external parts to audio files, and then mix the whole thing down and it will render these audio parts in with the onboard software and make your final mix file. But basically, um, can you see the versatility now of the drum map? So there's a pattern, it's playing three different softwares and an external drum box. And when I hit play, what the time you have the dread? What the time you have the dread? Audio. What the time you have the dread? Oh no, I can't what the mute time it. You have the dread? Hit it into what the time you have the dread? I'll delete this audio part. What the time you have the dread? What the time and there you have, have it. The dread? There you have it. A pattern playing using three software uh, instruments, a synth to make a sub bass, so a sample drum box and, an, and another sample drum box in software and an external uh, drum machine, the SR16. And it's all working together, all in perfect harmony, and you can create your pattern from all those different... Uh, sound sources. No need for a mixer, you can route your external drum box into your mix in real time using a fast ASIO sound card, which everyone, even the hobbyist who's taking it seriously, should have a fast ASIO sound card. And, you know, they start at 50, 45 pounds for the cheapest on the market. So there you go. Um, the other, one other thing you can do, of course, is I still have F sharp, G sharp, and A sharp as my in notes for these three congas, uh, so I can play them from the keyboard as well. And I'll do that now. Hang on. Just get the camera set up. Zoom in on those three keys. There they are. And this should trigger the SR16 sounds, because what's happening is the sound is the MIDI is coming from the keyboard into the PC, out through the drum map to the SR16, and the SR16 is sending its audio signal back into the mix. Okay, so, uh, it's these three keys here, and let's just see. There you go, and I can hit play on the drum pattern, and uh, I'll take the notes out that I already put in, using the rubber tool, hang on, not you. And I can compose using a, a master keyboard if I don't mind clicking notes in with the drumstick. But here we go. What the time you have the dread? So I've got. What the time you have the dread? 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 See how easy to play the keys? What the time you have the dread? 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 
Simple what as that. You have the and of course, what the time you and of course, you can record those patterns in real time as MIDI notes into your into your drum map pattern, and then hit play, and they'll play back. So there you go. Um, wonderful, eh? I'll just put in a conga pattern just to finish off. In fact, I can do edit, undo, delete, and there's my conga pattern. What the time you have the dread? So, there you go. That's how you do it. Drum map. I hope that's been informative for you. And uh, enjoy. What the time you have the dread? What the time you have the dread? What the time you have the dread? What the time you have the dread?